Number 43. This problem returns to the tightrope walker studied in example 4.6, who created a tension of 3.94 times 10 to the 3 newtons in a wire making an angle of 5 degrees below the horizontal with each supporting pole. Calculate how much this tension stretches the steel wire if it was originally 15 meters long and 0.5 centimeters in diameter. All right. So this question is, I, I think, a little deceiving because it depends on what they mean by originally 15 meters long. I mean, if I were to assume that it was 15 meters long here, let's say, right? And now the wire looks like this. Well, that's a terrible drawing, but if the wire now looks like this, right? Let me actually change the color. If the wire now looks like this, what's going on here? Okay, that's not gonna work for me. One more time, guys, if the wire then looks like this, right? Obviously, and I know the angle in here, all right, I can simply use right trigonometry to find the length of this side now, right? Because I could say halfway point, this used to be 7.5, right? Five degrees, and now here's the new side. But uh, when you do that, you get, an, you get a value of greater than what the answer, uh, what they're looking for. So um, I... I don't, you know, in terms of this question, that might be a valid way to solve it. But uh, to try to get the answer that the the book wants you to have, uh, they're basically assuming this, that you, that the, that this, uh, hold on, that this was originally, what is, why, why won't it do it? That this was originally uh, 15 meters. Okay. So this was originally 15 meters. And now... We place the person on it. It's, I mean, it's a little unreasonable, but it is what it is. So um, this problem is fairly then straightforward after you get through a little bit of the complexity of what they're trying to ask for, what they're trying to get at. Um, and we look to see that um, they're talking about how much it's being stretched. So we're using Young's modulus formula, right? It says that the force of tension should be equal to Young's modulus multiplied by the change in length divided by the initial length multiplied by the cross-sectional area of the item that is being stretched or compressed. So uh, we are looking for, um, sorry, we're looking for delta L, right? So let's just solve it right away. Uh, solving this for delta L, remember Y and A would be considered numerator values because they could all be both be put over one. So therefore, when you solve, when you put bring them to the other side of the equation, to the left-hand side, they go now in the denominator. And this denominator value that was on the right-hand side now goes into the numerator on the left-hand side. And we just solve for delta L. Great. So I need to know these four things. So we do know the force, right? The tensional force they told us. It's 3.94 times 10 to the third. Okay. Multiplied by the initial length, they told us it's 15 meters. Uh, divided by Young's modulus, I wrote down the value over here on the right-hand side. For steel, it's 210 times times 10 to the ninth, and then multiplied by the cross-sectional area. So they told us that it has a diameter, right? It's a, it's a circular cross-sectional uh, area, and um, it has a diameter of uh, 0.5 centimeters. So 0 0.5 centimeters, what's half of 0.5? 25, right, 0.25. All right, so we get 0.25 centimeters. Now I gotta convert that to meters, move the decimal two places to the left. So it'd be 0 0.0025 meters. And now I can use this in my area formula, area is equal to pi r squared. So area is equal to pi times 0 0.0025 squared. And lo and behold, we get pi times 0 0.0025 squared. We get a value of 1.96. So 1.96 times 10 to the minus five, and that's meters squared. That's great because this is now what I can plug into my formula here. So 1.96 times 10 to the minus five, and that'll equal the change in length. So now just throw it on into the calculator. So we get 3.94 times 10 to the third times 15. All right, divided by now parenthesis 210 times 10 to the nine times 1.96 times 10 to the minus five, close parenthesis. So we get a value here of uh, 0 0.0144 or so meters. In other words, in thinking about centimeters, uh, that might be something more easily related. It'd be 1.4 centimeters. All right. 
Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Please remember to subscribe, and I will see you in the next question. I might even see you in a few seconds if you click to that next question right now. Okay, bye.